really hard to be a decision maker right now, other than the fact that you know that you're going to have some revenue volatility. Now, from our perspective, and having been a budget person at a utility myself, most utilities in most parts of the country, again, Captain Obvious, you're going to get most of your revenues or a disproportionately large share of your revenues between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Good old outdoor watering. Whether you have water conservation mandates or suggestions, that's still going to be a big spike in your revenue curve. So let's say that it's mild, it's rainy, and I know that that's sort of the opposite of what's going on in California generally, especially right now, you're heading back into a drought. But let's just say that you have an unfavorable variance to budget because of weather. And it's almost always because of weather. So you're sort of shrugging your shoulders and saying, we're used to revenue volatility. That's no big deal. You know, it, it happens from time to time. Sometimes we kill it versus budget. Sometimes we don't hit it versus budget. So in any one particular year, from a rating agency perspective, we're sort of like, all right, I'm not necessarily saying you get a free pass. But the context in which you miss your revenues, miss your budget, is understandable. So you as the, uh, as the steward of the financials, uh, the owner of the purse, what sort, what sort of questions are you and conversations are you having with your colleagues down the hall in engineering? How are you making decisions at this point in time based on your financial outlook? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, because we, we've got some fairly significant reserves, we're looking at this, frankly, as a time of opportunity to maybe be able to do some different investments. We're not really seeing it, you know, part of our, I talked about our connection fees and the fact that we use connection fees to help pay for new capital. It's just not enough of a significant impact yet that it would really impact our capital program and some of the things that we're going to do. On the other side, we're taking a look and to, to see if there are potential investments that we ought to be looking at. So we're looking at it as a time perhaps of opportunity 